People often never ask me, Sunny, why do you like eyes so much? Eyes are a window to the soul. Ugh. Profound, right? I mean, I'm obsessed. I'm passionate when it comes to eyes, so why not? Jokes aside, I will be showing you how these eye necklaces were made. Welcome to my video on this channel, and let's get started. The clay I'm using for this project is Super School Living Doll Clay in beige. Doesn't really matter the color. So I decided that I'm not going to use the cabochons for this project, but I'm showing you the process anyways as an alternative to sculpting the eye. I do prefer to sculpt the eyes this time around for a more asymmetrical, exaggerated look. The paint that I'm using for the eyes is a combination of liquid acrylic ink, shimmery powder, and a color shift paint for a cool effect. I'm using a fine liner pen here, but I wish I used a brush instead. I think I'll do that next time. So another point to add is um, you can see me pouring resin, UV resin, over the capuchon at this stage. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself here. Um, so most UV resins, at least the ones that I've used, I, I don't think are actually made um, to handle higher temperatures. So just keep that in mind to make sure you have a resin that can handle higher temperatures if you're going to do it at this stage, but I don't recommend it. Um, wait until after the clay is baked. So this bed is a long stretch of me sculpting, so I'll let the music fade in as you watch me sculpt these beautiful bulging eyes.
please excuse my embarrassingly messy clay here. It was um, due to the griminess of my fingers. I unfortunately neglected to scrub them properly. And that's embarrassing considering I'm a full-time painter, so. cleaning the eyes and scraping some of that nasty grime that transferred from my hands followed by sanding with a 320 and 1000 grit sandpaper. After that I will be using Mr. Surfacer 1000 as a primer so I can get started on painting. Oh by the way I don't think I've mentioned this before but the metal pieces that I'm using to inlay the clay, those are, that's hammered pewter.
So <laughs> I thought I'd be cute and try to engrave the logo and um, yeah, it was a little fun at least, but <laughs> it looks like it looks like a mess. It looks like a hot, hot mess. And I wasn't expecting it to be super neat, but it was very hard to balance the dermal with all the grooves in it. Go figure, right? Maybe if I had a flatter surface, it would have been more successful mimicking a sort of enamel look. that Mod Podge dry and that's glossy Mod Podge by the way and then I applied a resin a yellow translucent resin to the other necklace absolutely adore how well these turned out the beaded necklace i managed to create as well as the pvc choker by scratch i wish i filmed that but i wasn't really thinking i think my brain was probably fried by that point these necklaces are a bit hefty um but i mean it's nothing like I couldn't handle or anyone else. There's plenty of sparkles to make those twilight vampires jealous and enough mystique to send those envious evil eyes away. 
Anyways, thank you for watching. Until next time. Hey, Editing Sunny here. So I have a couple of announcements. I wanted to apologize about the kind of crappy sound quality with my voice and the microphone. I didn't realize how bad the like the popping and the, the weird gross noises were until I gave it another listen after a couple of months going through the video again. And I I just I didn't have much time to between work and like all the other videos I've been working on. So again, I apologize. It shouldn't be much of an issue next time around. Also, I am very, very grateful and excited that I have like over 500 subscribers now. Like what? Like that is, that is so cool. I, I am very grateful for that. And honestly, I was not expecting that I've been stuck at like 300 and something subscribers for for years and seeing it jump up you know it's it's an awesome sight and I hope to build more engagement and if y'all have any like advice or suggestions on what you want me to do in terms of like making stuff because I, I dabble in a little bit of everything but you know I'm also sporadic when it comes to my uploads so yeah like you can message me on Instagram if you like you can comment in the comment section community tabs I guess you know don't be shy I am putting my face on the screen and I am kind of internally screaming right now because this is so new to me. Even though I've been on YouTube forever, I- this- this mug? Like, yeah, come on. Like, I, I'm getting used to it, but it's very new to me. So I- I appreciate if- if y'all, um, you know, even if it's just one or two and- even if it's just one or two of y'all who can take something away from my videos, whether it be entertainment or educational even, I- that would make me happy, you know? So, yeah, um, but I think that's all I wanted to express. Um, I am a goofy goober, so expect me to be kind of goofy. I- I don't feel myself if I'm not being weird, my weird self, and uh, you know, I- I like to experiment with different things. There are different types of videos, um, and stuff I want to do. I don't want to just stick to one kind of format. I- I've been dabbling in stop motion animation, for example, but I don't feel confident enough to post anything quite yet. Hopefully I will put up some project stuff, like work in progress stuff here and there in the in the near future, hopefully. But um, yeah, I have like so many things that I've been making in terms of like stuff for my shop and, you know, artsy stuff and like faux glass paintings and like, even like, weird <laughs> short film type of stuff, I, I, I don't know, I, I like, I'm kind of getting into it, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out if that appeals to you at all, and if not, that's totally cool, thank you for sticking around anyways, at least if you're still here, you know, but, uh, yeah, I, I wish you the best, and hopefully I'll see you again. Peace.